A string of violent incidents has been unfolding in Iran, including an explosion on Wednesday at a military base in Bandar Abbas. The violence has been scattered, but has reached a tempo in recent weeks that's difficult to ignore. We're not looking at a singular entity, so in that sense they're not related. But they're happening so close to one another that you just can't dismiss them as a coincidence. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. The assassination of a particle physicist in Tehran last week was perhaps the most widely noted event in a series of attacks that dates back months. But are the incidents connected? There is a relationship in that they're taking place in quick succession within a very short span of time. And there are just too many of them that just cannot be dismissed as coincidences. So there's that aspect. The second aspect is that we can't jump to the conclusion that these are all being coordinated by a singular force because this is a very wide geography and uh, the tactics are very different, the targets are very different, and the players that could be involved are also of a, a variety. So, for example, the assassinations in Kurdistan can be linked to, you know, either Kurdish groups or some other rebel entity, but that argument can't be used in the case of the explosion yesterday in the South. Stratfor analysts are continuing to study the tactics and possible actors involved, as is Iran's government, which has blamed various attacks on its enemies in the West, insurgent groups within Iran, and common criminals in turn. All the possibilities are valid, but none of the answers are clear just yet. The Islamic Republic is facing unprecedented levels of external pressure and internal chaos. The internal chaos is not to suggest that the regime is falling, but throughout its history, it's not faced this level of internal upheaval in terms of both you know, state and society. So in that context, it is reasonable to assume that maybe what we're looking at is these localized groups, regional groups, trying to take advantage of you know, what they perceive as growing vulnerability of the regime. Since there is internal unrest, there are those who will say that this is a good opportunity to push ahead with regime change. There are those who are much more measured who would say that perhaps regime change is not possible and the way to apply pressure is to support those groups that have a beef with the Islamic Republic. That's sort of the significance that is apparent. 